Ubisoft is sorry about Assassin's Creed shadows. Good, they should be, bunch of losers. Assassin's Creed has put forward an apology. They've said, we're sorry. Now, what are they sorry for? Good question. I wonder if this is going to be even a real apology. Let's find out. The Assassin's Creed Shadows team has a message for our Japanese community. I was about to say, I don't think they'd be able to read this. Japanese people can read and speak English. They typically choose not to speak English, though, because of the accent, as far as I understand, because it's pretty feelable and visible and hearable. But, okay. Yeah, it, it's down below there. Because I was like, well, if it's... Wait a second. <laughs> you know? Because, like, you know, it, it, they... Right? To our esteemed Japanese community, a message from the Assassin's Creed development team. First, we want to express our heartfelt thanks for all the support of Assassin's Creed. Uh, over the time, we've explored various settings, Viking, 9th century England. Uh, for many on our team, creating an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been a long-cherished dream. Uh, since the announcement of Assassin's Creed... Damn, that's one dot can miss the dream. Creed Shadows, we've received many positive reactions. Yeah, I'm sure they've yeah. received dozens of positive reactions. Uh, but all Probably a whole whopping five and a half also some criticism including from you our japanese players we share your passion for history and deeply respect you care for your historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage no one believes that there is not a single person with even have a functioning brain who is gonna believe that we would like to address a few points to clarify our intentions and creative decisions okay here we go overall authenticity efforts we have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. Which they completely failed at. Nice. Okay. Okay. Not good. I don't know how it was in feudal Japan, but I bet walking around in the town with, like, your armor on did not make every citizen bow to you and be like, Oh, wow, you're so amazing. Bro, Yasuke walking through that town was like Jesus coming back from being in the desert for 40 days. And anyone who did not get bowed got their skull crushed in, in a very honorable samurai traditional way. Beautiful. It was more. Bro, they were gassing him up like crazy. It was nuts. Like, oh, no, be surprised. Yeah, I did. Yeah, what do you mean? A glazing. Yes, absolutely. He's not the king. Yes, the, the fucking emperor. However, well, he sat on the same level as the Emperor Nobunaga, so, you know, that's kind of cute. Our, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games uh, as factual representations of history or historical characters. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn. I mean, they fought pretty hard to say that, oh, this is historically accurate, deal with it. So, you know more about the historical settings we get inspired by. I think that people wouldn't have as much of a problem if you made up a character, but the fact I, I think that what people are really annoyed at with the Assassin's Creed thing is the fact that a lot of this seems to be built on a very shaky foundation. And no, no, stop being spineless. This is just blackwashing of Japan's history. That's it. That's it. That's why people are mad. And on top of it being built on a very shaky foundation, it's also... They tried this with Egypt, they tried this with Europe, they tried this with, well, pretty much honestly almost everywhere. ...built off of a holier-than-thou approach of, like, what do you mean he's not a samurai? Are you some kind of a racist? What do you mean this isn't relevant? Are you some kind of a racist? And I think that's what people really don't fucking like. People don't like something that's happening for an obvious reason, and anybody that calls it out is, tr is like, shamed into being quiet. It's fucking annoying. It's so obnoxious to see people- With the amount of people who were not happy with this, yeah, that did not work. People like this. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, how does it affect you? Bro, how does it affect you by doing it? What's the most historic success? How does the world getting worse affect me? Jeez, I don't know. How is spreading lies of misinformation and, you know, rewriting the world affect me? Gee, I really don't know. Probably it does. Well, I guess I, I guess I'm not mad anymore. Assassin's Creed? I don't know. I, I think that really the difference here is that 
with a lot of the other existing main characters and stories. As far as I know, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but many of the characters that are created in the Assassin's Creed games are fictional characters. These are not historical characters. I understand that in some games you interact with historical characters, yep. but I'm talking about playing a character like e Ezio, like all these. So it's a very different topic. They're made up, but they are made up in a way that actually they fit in the time period. Topic and a very different conversation when you're making a character that is completely fake and it's like uh, I am inventing this character for the story versus I am creating this character from a historical context and then saying this is who the character was and then if anybody questions it or says this might be off I'm calling them a racist this is very different you're you're like in one case you are basically writing fan fiction and in the other case you are rewriting history it's a massive fucking difference if it was a Pretty historical much. battle with fictional samurai? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Do y'all ever think that they'd ever make an Assassin's Creed game where you help the South win the Civil War? Absolutely fucking not. Do you think that they'd ever make a Civil War movie where you help Nazis? Absolutely fucking not. No. It's because the reason why they're doing this and they're presenting it this way is because it aligns with their worldview and they're trying to push this out there to everybody. That's the- Again, I cannot repeat or stress this enough. The main writer behind Assassin's Creed Shadows literally had, probably still honestly has, in their Twitter bio, dedicated black slam pig. And she's fat, obviously the reason why they're trying to virtue signal because their company was embroiled in as much sexual harassment lawsuit stuff as blizzard was they're trying to make up for the fact that was ubisoft embroiled in that how can they how can that happen 99.999 percent of ubisoft is women if you look at the actual development studio you look at the people that work at the company it's just a bunch of fucking white people but they want to act like they're super diverse in the video games and why is it i think that they're overcompensating personally but you know I think it's just the SG scores. Oh, well, that's just my opinion. So yeah, it's 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 you don't really care about the you know making a telling a story. You you care about doing it in a way that is congruent that makes you look good. That's what matters. And so no, they don't probably care to make a story that looks uh, that makes them look good. They're not doing self inserts or anything like that. They're just woke ideologues who are absolutely insane. So inauthentic. And so we end up, uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. In fact, they, this is the apology and they still keep this. A, histor a historical fiction in feudal Japan. Compelling. Jesus. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan. Listen. Academia is absolutely flawed at this point to an absolutely un unbelievable degree. People who invent things that are absolutely pivotal to our current day lives uh, get their honors stripped away from uh, from them just because they uh, they say something in the wrong political uh, lens. It is insanity. Okay, I can find a I you can find a historian who is actually accredited probably works at goddamn harvard who's who's gonna tell you that 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 the black people made every single nation on the planet and that's not even a joke you probably can find that these people are insane they're ideologues the word academia no longer means anything that how many years has it passed since a bunch of people got together, re rewrote Mein Camp in a feminist uh, in a feminist way, where the feminist was the person doing all of that, and that shit got accredited, and people were and and they even got like a nomination for best work or something. It is a joke. To inform our creative choices, right? Okay, so um, I mean, yeah, those historians about that. Yeah, that was not so good, huh? The irony is they can't please everyone? The Assassin's Creed hasn't been good since Black Flag? I don't know. But uh, Assassin's Creed 3 was the American Revolution, not Civil War. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I knew they did one about Revolutionary War, but that's different.
I don't think Japan likes that. Yeah, I mean, let's see here. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional material may have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we... And I all, not some. Sincerely apologize. All the game footage presented so far is in development, and the game will keep evolving until launch. Based on your constructive criticism that we have received, we will continue our efforts until we put this game in your hands and beyond. We do want to clarify that while there have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken. Bro, they literally got a Japanese historian who approved Chinese architecture and well, other Chinese stuff in the game as Japanese. Okay, I, man, I, I'm just gonna go call myself an expert and just say that you need me to validate this stuff. It, it's a sort of stupid triple A video. Oh no, it's Ubisoft, I'm sorry. Quadruple A game. And then I'm just gonna put a bunch of random bullshit in. No one's gonna be able to tell anyway, right? And by the creative teams. Yeah, yeah, of course, right? Coincidentally, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. Well, of course people are going to crit- Why? What, why the hell would uh, anyone agree to this? You have some, bla some blatant woke loser idiot uh, intentionally mis trying to mislead people and say, Oh yeah, this was like that. Why the hell would they not- Why, why the hell would they some magically how be immune to criticism? criticize the collaborators because they're the ones that are like you know for example there was that one female uh japanese person and like they had written books about like what was it like uh relationships between like men and young boys and talking about that I i'm pretty sure like i don't remember exactly like what the details yeah boy no right there's that one and then there's the other one so like yeah we bring it up but we're not criticizing really for that it's like oh this is the person that you have oh you're gonna bring this person on this this weirdo what the fuck so oh i do remember that slightly yeah that that's one of the people <laughs> behind also as the uh, shadows yeah that's good Thank you for showing the most traumatic experience yeah yeah for sure I, i'm glad i did most of the controversial games is late and plan on playing anyway yeah hirama uh it's a historian has said uh, Yusuke was most likely a samurai. Most Japanese people had problems with the minute details of the game. Yeah, but then other people, like, I, I saw that, but then I... That's a lie. I saw other people saying that the guy was, like, a communist, and, like, other people that were part of that community were saying that he was wrong. Like, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't speak I don't speak Japanese. I, I'm not sure what's, what's really going on with that. I'm not in their culture. Hmm. Yeah, the historian was heavily discredited. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, let me go back to look at the rest of this. Creative liberties and other historical uh, inspirations. While we strive for authenticity in everything we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. Uh, from its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences. This is just deflecting blame. No one's going to be happy. But this is bullshit. ...of Yasuke and our game is an illustration of this. His unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate to tell an Assassin's Creed story. His life was not mysterious at all with the feudal Japan as a backdrop. While Yosuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. Uh, we have no, not really. woven this carefully into our narrative uh, and with our other lead character, the Japanese Shinobi, uh, who is equally important to the game, our dual... Dude, again, the irony is the fact that this, uh, this character is extremely accidentally docu uh, documented by a lot of different things. And it's literally nothing. Nothing in historical record that even remotely would prove that he was remotely close to being a samurai. Protagonists provide players with different play styles. So, I think this is the reason why a lot of this creative stuff kind of completely falls flat. Why is communist seen as something bad? It's just a system like democracy. It's a system that people die and go hungry. Um, a lot more than democracy. A democracy, hey, listen, in democracy, usually you're the one responsible for going hungry and on the streets. In communism, that's just a part of communism to go hungry and on the streets. It, it just works. People view capitalism as really bad too. Like people, I, I feel like, I think a better comparison is like uh, capitalism versus communism. I feel like people say that's bad all the time. Like, people say, ca ca uh, what do you call it? Capitalism's awful. 
Communism equals democracy? Yeah, bro, like, it's not... And also, like... I think it, it, it's fair to say that, as far as I know, every implementation of communism has been bad. Like, I, I'm pretty sure we don't have a lot of, like... Oh, just sprinkle in that. Well, as far as I know, maybe I'm wrong, but y'all, uh, communism has failed every time. Every... Bruh, he fully is aware that communism has failed every single time it's implemented, and then the meme, oh, that wasn't true, communism pops up. Like, really, really great communist countries? So, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, whereas, like, we have a lot of really great capitalist countries, like America. America's great. Compared to, like, hey, any of the communist countries? You want to say America's bad? Uh-huh, for sure. Uh, compare it to the fucking communist countries. America's great. Absolutely. The thing is, yeah, it's not even a question. Yeah, anybody who's... By the way, if you are if you are trying to debate this with me, you have totally lost the plot. And, and I hope that you do not ever have to live in a country where you have to live by your words. I pr I hope they do. I hey, if they want to be treated like animals, who, who am I to say no? Who am I to say no? Pray that never do you actually have to be held accountable and see that you're wrong firsthand. Anyway, does it make sense? Oh, it does. It makes sense to every person who's normal. American vets are living on the streets? Yep, you're right. And it's still a lot better than any of the communist countries. Absolutely. It's not even a question. Like, yeah, nobody's saying America's perfect. Nobody ever said that. Absolutely not. It's sure hell a lot better than what they have. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go back. We'll talk about this a bit more, right? I mean, it, it's... Is that, there anything that's, to talk about fucking anymore? tangent. Here's oh, the point. Boy. Is that I think that everybody can see that the reason why they put Yasuke in the game is so they can position themselves as caring about diversity while being, once again, a pretty much all-white uh, studio that has been embroiled in different... No, this is completely wrong. They just want to rewrite history. They they don't want to be, they don't want to position themselves as caring for diversity. They just want to rewrite history. Types of sexual harassment lawsuits and different types of controversy over the years. Uh, that was the reason why the character was included this way. So if you want to talk about taking creative liberties, I don't necessarily respect that level of creativity because it happens only in a way that is performative. Uh, these people do not live this way. They do not behave this way. They do not act this way. Man, Asmongold is really going on the fence sitting right here. This is, this is a boogie 2899 situation or whatever the numbers, uh, the four numbers are in his nickname. Okay, listen. <laughs> I could be wrong in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, bro, just, just stop again. Uh, these people do not live this way, they do not behave this way, they do not act this way, they perform this way in order to respect right. that level of creativity, because it happens only in a way that is performative. Uh, these people do not live this way, they do not yeah, come talk on, about YouTube. taking creative liberties, I don't necessarily respect that level of I don't necessarily respect it, but I do sometimes! Bro, the fence sitting has gotten absolutely insane, by the way. I, I- you know what I'm currently uh, waiting for? Asmongold's uh, dr opinion drop on the Chris, uh, Chris situation from Mr. Beast. That's gonna be great. Mudahar did one. Uh, Moist Critical Charlie did one. And I have to say, I have to say, I, I watched them. I haven't watched Mudahar's fully. I have watched like six minutes of it. But man, <laughs> oh man. Talk about being a spineless coward, okay? Charlie, at the bare minimum, actually is congruent, you know? He, he said the same thing about uh, the Krish situation as he said about the Dr. Disrespect situation. Mulehan's literal first seven minutes, and I haven't watched past that, of the Chris situation is like, okay, okay, like, let's not make a big fuss and blah, blah. It is just so different. It's it's absolutely not even close. People are so afraid to, uh, to say anything about uh, that could affect them negatively against Mr. Beast. That is absolutely insanity, okay? It's not even close. And I'm also waiting for that man response. <laughs> and that uh, that man response is going to be wild. The last one about Dr. Disrespect already was wild. He literally two hours apart did the uh, classic. I see nothing wrong with this. Everything he says is uh, okay. 
nothing wrong with this. Nothing has been proven. And then and then he admits, well, yeah, I kind of, I, I, I did it, boys. It is what it is. And two hours after that, I knew it from the start. He was guilty. I have seen PR talk before. Yo, these people are wild. These people are absolute fucking garbage, okay? That's what I'm just gonna say. They're, they're absolutely just... I can't wait for it. Anyway, that's it for the Yasuke situation. I can bet my ass that people are not gonna be happy with this because this is not even an apology. This is like, ah, we did what we wanted to do. You got mad deal with it kind of uh, situation. It's pretty disgusting. Anyway, bye-bye.